Miltiates, also known as Miltiates the Younger, was a Greek Athenian general, known mostly for his role in the Battle of Marathon, as well as for his downfall afterwards. He was born in the city of Athens in the year 554 BC. The son of Cimon of Athens, an aristocratic charioteer well known for his success in the Olympics. Cimon was a member of the wealthy and highly regarded Philaid clan, and Miltiates was educated by the best teachers and groomed for success in politics. He inherited a kingdom in Asia Minor in his twenties, when his brother, Stesagoras, died without any children to leave his estate to. This kingdom was in the Chersonese, north of the site of ancient Troy, and had proved a very prosperous holding for Miltiades' family. He defeated the Scythian invaders who made regular incursions into the kingdom and conquered the islands of Lemnos, Imbros, and Tenedos for Athens, which greatly elevated his status and that of his kingdom. In 513 BC, Darius I invaded, and Miltiades surrendered accepting his new position as vassal to the Persian Empire. In this capacity, he had no choice but to join his new ruler in an expedition against the Scythians, and then against the Greek colonies in Asia Minor. These colonies revolted against Persian rule in 499 BC, and Miltiades supported them secretly and helped with dispensing further aid from Athens. When the Persians put down the revolt in 495 BC, Miltiates' part in the troubles was revealed, and he fled to Athens for safety. When the Persians crushed the Ionian cities who revolted against them and destroyed Miletos, they decided to punish Athens and Eretria for aiding the Ionian rebels. With the leaders of the Persian invasion force, Dates and Artaphernes, the Persian king Darius sent many ships to the Aegean to conquer Greece. Eretria after resisting for six days, fell to Persian hands with the help of a traitor. Eretria was destroyed and city of Athens was next. The Persians chose the Marathon Beach to disembark their forces and from there to march to Athens. In this critical time, Miltiates took the weight of responsibility to save his city. At the time of the battle he was 60 years old. The Athenians entrusted the fate of their city to the hands of this experienced and cool-headed general. He decided not to wait for the Persians to come to Athens, but to attack them as soon as possible, before leaving Marathon. The next morning, 10,000 Athenians and 1,000 Plataeans attacked the Persians who expected them. The Persians had great numbers and sure for their victory. But Miltiates came up with a great stratagem. He reinforced the two edges of his formation while weakening the center. The Persians, with more forces at their center pressed on, forcing their opponents to retreat. But the two edges of the Athenians surrounded the Persian army and defeated them. Phytipitus, the best runner of his time, ran 20 miles from Marathon to Athens to deliver news of the victory of the Battle of Marathon. After announcing the good news, he collapsed and died. The story inspired the modern sporting event known as the Marathon Race. Athens was saved, and Miltiates became a hero. In order to establish his victory he decided to strike the Persian fleet and punish the Naxians who offered help to the Persians. The following year in 489 BC, Miltiates led an Athenian expedition of 70 ships against the Greek inhabited islands that were deemed to have supported the Persians. The expedition was not a success. His true motivations were to attack Poros, feeling he had been slighted by them in the past. The fleet attacked the island, which had been conquered by the Persians, but failed to take it. Miltiates suffered a grievous leg wound during the campaign and became incapacitated. His failure prompted an outcry on his return to Athens, enabling his political rivals to exploit his fall from grace. Charged with treason, he was sentenced to death, but the sentence was converted to a fine of 50 talents, which was a vast amount of money. He was sent to prison where he died probably of gangrene from his wound. This was the sad end of the man who saved Athens and Greece from the Persians.